Legionnaires out there. Let's see it. Hashtag Legion. <laughs> Guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, it's going to be a little different. The game actually reset. Somebody won the game. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Because uh, people are going to be like, what happened to the base? Uh, game reset. Uh, that means you can... This is... As much as it seems like a faction-based game where you build your base and stuff, it's a winnable game. Meaning you can come on here with your friends and potentially win the game. Which is freaking crazy, dude. Uh, and I really like that aspect. As a single player with no teammates, it's really hard for me to win the game. But we're going to shoot for that top five. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me some love down below, Legion. Legionnaires, roll call to hit that like button and drop me a comment. Just give me some love down there, guys. And I'm going to give you some love right now. Oh, that's right. Legion hug. <gasps> Legion hug. Oh, I love it. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this episode and have a great freaking day, Legion. So, guys, I've been running uh, to find us a new base because the game reset, remember? And look what I ran across. And I busted that. There's a whole wheat field. I ran all the way out into the middle of freaking nowhere to find a civilization. I don't think anyone lives here anymore, but I, I don't know. So, I'm going to throw some stuff down and we're going to start looting this place. This is freaking crazy, dude. This is freaking crazy. I'm excited. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. All right. So, let's start grabbing stuff. All right, I don't know how far I can go in here. So, let's just get what we can. Dude, we're gonna get so much food. Oh my god. Look how much food we're gonna get. I saw a potato. We should try to carry other foods too. Let's see. I, I gotta get I'm gonna get rid of things that we just don't need right now. Like all of this wood, not things that we really need. We should make our base close by. Uh we should make a temporary base. Uh I think that's what I'll do. I'll make a temporary base if uh I can keep looting. I'm gonna run through here now and see how far I can go. Okay, so this is where it starts. Oh, I can, what? Oh my goodness, guys. I don't think, I don't think anyone has been here. I think this, we've ran so far away. I don't think anyone's ran this. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We will, uh, I'm going to run and we're going to make like a temporary base set up next to this somewhere so that we can loot everything. I don't want to be in this area whenever, if they show up or something and I'll have to fight them. Wait. Oh, come on. All right, let's go. I'm going to make all this bread. That'll save us some space, too. So I made the bread. I've got our little rare... This is like our little siege camp. This, this is where we're going to uh, go still... Yes, with whatever. This is our little, like, base thingy. Temporary assault facility. Uh, I'm going to make a, a bucket. And I'm going to get those carrots. I'm back, everybody. The uh, the server crashed. My B, it didn't do it. I swear it wasn't me. I blame everybody but me. Let's log back in. I logged out kind of in somebody's base. So hopefully nobody's there going, oh, this is nice. We're, we're, we're farming. Yay. And then be like, oh, God, someone logged in. Give me my hoe. <laughs> ah, and he pull it out. It's stuck in my hoe. Hopefully nobody's there. YOLO. Quick crouch. All right, nothing's here. Let's go. Shh, shh. <gasps> well, that sucks. All right. Wait, wait, I got my bucket on. Ah, ah, ah. Hold on. There's something in front of my computer. Ah, move Gatorade bottle. Sorry. I couldn't reach my keyboard. I am super excited. So what we're doing, the same thing we did last game. Let me stop for a second. I'm going to say something. I got uh, some comments that said, Lance, it's against the rules to use a water bucket to knock down crops. I've read the rules thoroughly. It says this. It is a bannable offense to grief unless in a method deemed okay by the server. Meaning, if it's something they ain't fixed and I ain't glitching, it's okay. In my opinion, this is, let's get an opinion from you guys. I read the rules and to me that means if they didn't want it to happen, they would fix it. So by me placing water right outside of the protection, it washes in. If they didn't want that to happen, they can fix the, the server to not allow water to affect things inside, meaning it won't go into a protected territory. That can be done. I have the guy, we've got Shotbow developers, we've, we've got the owner on Skype, I'll send him a message, we'll find out, I'll be like, look, let me holla at you for a second, can I do this? And they'll be like, nope, don't do it again, and I'll be like, okay, I'm all about following the rules, or if they're like, you know what, you can do it, I'll be like, okay. So anyway, yeah, I'm doing it, until, yeah, until further notice. Alright, so I want to wash away, uh, I don't see anybody, I want to get the carrot. Like I said, guys, um, I guess it's debatable, but to me, I'm sure the developers uh, said, you know what? You're not really able to get the entire crop, so why not let them get a little food? Because they've actually lowered the amount of food possible to get in the game, really. So I'm kind of thinking maybe this is what they wanted me to do. 
All right, so I got all the food. Uh, I could get more. I really could. Let me see. I've got carrots. I've got carrots. I've got potatoes. I got a little bit of everything. I can grow my own. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and be a jerk about it and just completely take everything. I just don't think that's fair, nor do I think it's necessary. I mean, it's cool. I could be like, hey, man, I'm going to steal everything, la di da and all that, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to look around in here and see if there's anything in these chests, though. This room, yeah. Let's see what we got. Anything in here? Nothing. All right, I'm just gonna, uh, we're gonna go on and go. There's not really much here. I got the crops though. That That's freaking fantastic. So I'm, I'm extremely happy. I'm gonna go on and start trying to find a place to make our little base and start working on our camp. Uh, after seeing the camp from earlier, I don't, uh, yeah, it was nice. The camp is freaking cool. All right, there we go. Mark the spot. Uh, I probably have too many resources now. I'm not gonna be able to carry everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna carry the, everything that I need right now and we'll come back and get the rest. All right, so I've successfully taken everything. I'm gonna bury this stuff. Uh, from what I can tell, the server is really, really good about not having like x-ray and stuff and they're really uh, observant about that stuff. So I've waypointed where it's at. I'll come back and get it at a later date. The, the game, the way this game works is uh, you can win it. Your faction can win it and then the game resets, right? So what we are essentially doing is trying to win the game. Uh, whether we can do it, we're legionnaires, so we can do anything we put our mind to. Let's not get it wrong. The thing about it is, uh, the more people you have, the faster you can reach your goal and win the game. So I don't know what we're going to be able to do. Anyway, minus all that, my excitement level is through the roof. There's a town here called Babylon. G freaking G. Now we got to look for loot, man. There's a lot of towns we're running across and I'm really far away. I think all these towns kind of just decided, hey, we were far enough away. Little they know I'm a gangster and I run fast. But uh, let's see what all we can find. Okay, so I found another field of crops. I could steal these if I wanted to. I could absolutely flood this uh, this area, but I, there's no reason. It would just be a douche move to flood those crops for no reason. Dude, this is this faction right here, guys, is really good. Like they've got a they've got the actual keep and everything. YOLO. <gasps> Dude, let's scale the walls. Scale the walls. Can I go in? Nope. Alright, I can't go in. I gotta figure out when the next war is. I wanna come back and loot this. Hey, what's that? It's a nice little building back here. What is this? Oh, it's a dock. Oh, I like it. I like it. Dude, look at this boat launch. This is sick. I wonder, is it lootable though? Hold on, what do, I don't know anything about that. I've never seen that. I've never seen a faction that actually had a boat, man. All right, everybody. So, quick update. Uh, the Somebody won the last server we were playing on. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, this game is winnable. Like, it, when, it, when you win the game, the server resets. Uh, it's not a fast win. It takes a, quite a bit of time to win it. Weeks, even. Uh, and that's with a group of friends. What I want to see what we can do, dude, is there's uh, slash sim top to top five. And there's a top five. I want to see if we can get to the top five. I don't even know how the points work right now. But we're going to figure it out because we're bosses. So I'm gonna try to get us to the top five, just me for now. But anyway, it reset, so I lost everything that we've already done. So instead of showing you guys, we're starting and here, blah, 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 I went on and I got us far away from spawn. I uh, grabbed us some resources. I looted a couple things on the way. And this is what we now have to start with. Um, uh, let's go through it real quick. We've got, we've got a lot of wheat, which, we got that. We got 17 carrots, 28. Let's do an inventory on food, because that's important. So, there we go. Direct food sources. From most to least, we have we have a crap load of wheat. We've got bread. We've got potatoes, carrots, and some melons. <gasps> ah, yeah, I love me some watermelons in the morning. But then I also got seeds. So, we, this is a renewable source of food here. I got melon seeds. We've got that. We've got cocoa beans. We can make some cookies. <gasps> I love cookies and milk. Ah, what about you, Eddie? I love them. And he loves cookies, and now he just ran out the window chasing the neighbor with a stick. <gasps> and he got tased, and he down! You'll be alright, roll around in some ice water. That actually works. Um, anyway, so I got a pumpkin. Uh, actually, let me see. So let's put all of our building material on the right side. We're trying to organize. Remember, this is vanilla. That means our organizing is gonna be poop. So, building materials we'll put on the far right. What is that? Cocoa beans and melon seeds. So cocoa beans, we'll put that over there. Uh, I can make books. I have sugar cane. Uh, so that makes, you know, we can make cake and stuff. Whatever. D okay. Uh, we, d yeah. So also, let's put uh, all the mob drop items and uh, craftable stuff over here on the left side. So things that I have that are craftable and may need. Or that we did craft. So craftable or like crafting materials. Things that we have. Yes. YOLO. So... 
here we go guys this is what we have we have a couple stacks of cobblestone we have two pieces of jungle wood uh i was trying to hold on to those everybody knows that you can only put cocoa bean uh you can start a cocoa bean farm on jungle wood unless they've changed it is since i played vanilla which i don't know the last time so they might have uh two fishing poles you actually start with these and the compass of course here's the book we're going to need that it'll teach us about sieve craft a little bit uh bucket of water uh two beds which we need to place down so we can save this as our home i got yellow carpet we'll put some carpet down make the place look really nice maybe some pillows uh and leather so to make a camp we actually have to have uh certain resources that's how it works i'm not sure what kind of resources we need so i'm gonna see if this book tells us so let's open the book up and see what we got shall we can anybody read all right guys so i got us a list of things that we need to make our camp and that's the first level of your civilization like the first thing you have to have to, to build it um and that is gonna take us here we go i've got us a list here we need 405 pieces of wood i don't know if that's planks or regular so we better go for the regular we need 27 pieces of coal 72 feathers and 18 leather holy shoot mother of god where am i gonna do it it'll take me two weeks to get all of that i've got what all right let's see out of the 72 feathers i've got five dude out of the leather i've got eight four okay four out of 18 ain't bad that's pretty good uh what else we got wood i got two out of 405 son of a and i've got no coal so i guess the first thing i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna get some coal i uh started carving out my base i forgot i didn't even show you this is our new uh little little structure we're at diamond level i chose to dig straight down to diamond level because without a camp we can't protect any of our items uh meaning all chests are lootable so I figured let's go to an ocean. I got an ocean super far away from spawn, just like we did in the last episode. So I, I wanted to be as close to what we were doing before so you guys weren't like completely like, wow, everything's done, flip the script. Well, that's because you can win this. It's, it's a winnable game. Like you and your friends can get on here, start a faction and win it in a couple of days. Which is a really, really cool thing. Ah, okay. Which is a really cool thing. So um, I, I really am starting to think that this is going to be a really hard hard game for me to do solo. But you know what? We are legion. We are many. So I'm going to go in and start trying to get the coal. Uh, luckily, while I was digging, I found coal. Now, instead of using this coal to make those, uh, to actually start counting them, uh, I found a bunch of iron uh, during our travels. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to start smelting that iron. And uh, coal, I think, is going to be the easiest out of all these to find. We're going to have to go on expedition. I think I can build uh, an iron sword and we can go explore. We'll make an axe and we'll start cutting wood down everywhere we go. 400 pieces of wood with an iron axe. The axe is gonna break a lot, uh, but we should be able to get, how many stacks is 400 pieces of wood? Okay, so I need six, uh, six and a quarter stacks of wood. So yeah, we're gonna have to get six and a quarter stacks of wood, but that's okay. What we'll do after I get the coal and I get my iron is I'll go back to the surface. I'll get in my boat. Uh, I'll start looking around for the stuff. We'll start looking for wood. We'll start looking for uh, for cows. Uh, one of the things that's going to be the hardest, guys, is the 70, 72 feathers. I don't know what we're going to do. But the fun thing about being outside is we could run across civilizations. We could raid stuff. We could find someone to kill. You never know. That sounds really bad. My neighbor's looking at me like I'm going to kill him. I'm coming for you, man. Oh, my God. He's running. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Looks like I might actually have all the coal we need right here. So I only need 27 pieces. Uh... I don't really think I'm gonna stockpile the coal so hard. Like I'm gonna use it to make torches and stuff because everybody knows coal's really easy to find. Uh, I find it all over the place. Like it's just out in the environment. But it looks like what I need to do is we need to just stay chill. We need to get uh, bring our food with us and go explore. Because while we're exploring, we're getting wood. There's gonna be a large chance he said getting wood. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. Um, while we're out there exploring, there's gonna be a great chance of us to find. Uh, Find chickens and find cows. I'm really excited. Uh, even though the task is monumental. That sounded really cool. This is heading the right direction. Even though the task is monumental, I believe that the members of Legion and their undying and unwavering support will lead me to at least get to the top five. Yolo Swaggins, let's go. All right, let's do it. So now that, I, oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I close that off, I don't want to accidentally come back, skeleton be here. I end up shot in the face and dead. I'm sure you guys understand. You always understand me. No one gets me except you. All right, so there we go. We got an iron shank. Now, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this. Look, 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 guys. Hold on. You do, you do not have the required technic. Te you do not have the required technology. Smelting to craft this item. 
Gotta love it, dude, I'm already liking it. Even though I can't make that piece of iron, I'm already liking this. So how do we build, uh, how do we do technology? Let me see, there should be one for technology, I think. Okay, so from what I can tell, guys, uh, it's not actually gonna let me make the, uh, the iron sword. I don't know about tools. I feel like if I'm gonna use iron tools, I'm also gonna have to learn smeltery. I'm gonna go on and use the uh, two pieces of jungle wood. It doesn't look like we're gonna really need cocoa beans, but I mean, YOLO strats, right? Ah, oh, yeah, all right. I'm gonna try it. This will confirm that we can't build iron uh, stuff. Okay, okay, so it looks like the sword we can't build, but possibly we can build all the tools. GG. All right, guys, so that's what it was. We can build the, uh, the iron tools. We simply cannot build the iron. We can't build an iron sword. I probably can't build weapons. -y. Okay, so we can't build anything that's gonna be used for a PVP advantage. Uh, it looks like tools are cool. They'll let us build the tools. They will not let us build PVP items higher than leather at this point. That's cool, I like that. As much as I wanna complain and be like, that's stupid. It really gives a lot to vanilla because you gotta learn technology. You have to found a civilization and start researching stuff. G freaking G, always love the challenge. All right, so there we go. Let's see, give me this, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna make two axes. The reason, because we need them. Um, we need 18 leather, but I really wanna get some armor soon. Uh, that would be nice. All right, guys, so I think we're ready to go. Um, one thing I wanna do, uh, I was on my way out the door. I was like, all right, we've got everything. I, I kinda think I wanna make a shovel, but do we really need a shovel? Hold on, this is like a debated issue. I mean, I don't need the iron. Like, we'll find more iron, but it's like, should I get it? Should I leave it? I just don't know, man. I just freaking don't know. Let's get out of here. Let's, uh, wait. I should have a boat above us, I think. I, what, what we'll do is we'll get in the boat, uh, and we'll go to the first place we see that has a lot of, uh, of wood. I think what we have to focus on, though, is staying away. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot one thing. I'm sorry. I forgot something. I'm a terrible navigator. I forgot to get one thing. One thing we're really going to need is a compass. We need our compass. I'm, uh, did I sleep in the bed? I'm so bad. I'm nervous, man. All right, let me sleep. All right, so this should be our home. I think if we die, we'll spawn here. I really don't want to try it, though. We should have tried it before we came this far, but we can't. So, um... All right, what do we need, what do we need, what do we need? We need, all right guys, so I went on and I redid my inventory because uh, I like to tweak things. All right, so we got everything. Let's go get in our boat. Let's head out into the uh, the wild blue yonder and uh, do stuff. So one of the things I wanted to do was actually take down the torches. Uh, torches can give away a position. You ever be running through a map and all of a sudden the map goes like, I don't know, you know it like, you can see the bottom of the map. Well, I want to eventually close all this off, if we're here that long, is close all this off and get rid of all the torches. Uh, that'll hide our position even better. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to go that far with it. All right, get ready. Get ready, guys. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Base is hidden. Base is hidden. All right, so it's the L shape. When we see the L shape, that's where we're going. Where's my boat? Oh, my God. Are you serious? All right, there's no boat. Uh, I guess I'll go for a swim.